if you take any particles and take a bunch of particles and just drop them slowly they will form into a pyramid more precisely a cone but okay let's just say pyramid so if you take a bunch of sand and release it slowly from your grasp they will form a little pyramid of sand take a, a handful of pebbles and drop them slowly and they'll form into a pyramid of pebbles take a truckload of bricks and tip the bed of the truck back slowly and they form into a pyramid of bricks same goes with human beings take a bunch of human beings and put them in uh, one location of time and space and they will form into a pyramid so if you look in governments if you look in military if you look in a private corporation if you look in a multi-level marketing or network marketing if you look in a church if you look anywhere in a neighborhood residence association human beings naturally form into a pyramid so whether you've got yourself a job in a small company or a job in a large corporation or you're trying your hand at network marketing or you've joined a multi-level marketing company you are part of a pyramid being part of a pyramid is not in itself the problem when people talk about pyramid schemes or pyramid scams the problem is not with the pyramid. The problem is with the scam part of the equation. How a pyramid becomes a scam is when the people on top of the pyramid are being paid for, are being paid from the money given out by the people in the lower parts of the pyramid. You see, if you work in a corporation which has a pyramid structure, everyone in that pyramid in, in an ideal situation is producing products or services that are then consumed by the customers of that pyramid and the fees paid by the customers whether for products or services are distributed to everyone in the pyramid disproportionately of course those in the higher levels of the pyramid get more of the distribution of the profits and those in the lower part of the pyramid get less and that is the way it works in a multi-level marketing company in a network marketing company assuming that they are reputable the distribution of profits comes from sales of products and services to customers outside of the pyramid of that multi-level or network marketing company the higher proportion of profits goes to the higher levels of the pyramid but everybody gets paid from the profits paid by the customers the profits received from the customers what happens in a pyramid scam is when money is collected from the people in the pyramid and then the people in the pyramid are paid profits from the money that is collected within the pyramid and only in the pyramid. This is called a Ponzi, where there is no actual profit, no actual value provided to customers outside of the pyramid. Money is simply collected from people within the pyramid and then distributed. To people within the pyramid so obviously you can see that eventually the money will run out and when the pyramid stops growing there's no more money and the pyramid will collapse that is the definition of a pyramid scam that is the definition of a Ponzi it is when money is collected from people in the pyramid and paid to people in the pyramid if you are in any such pyramid you should plan your way out this could be even a legitimate corporation that is not 
providing value anymore to people outside the pyramid. <laughs> and they are losing money and they have no more money coming in from outside the pyramid to pay to people in the pyramid. It is slowly becoming a scam. Well, it's just a non-profitable company that's about to go under. If you are in such a company, then it's not much different from being in a Ponzi. Except you are not deceiving people by asking them to join your collapsing pyramid. If you are in a Ponzi, then you should seek to get out as well. But if you are in a pyramid that is providing value to people outside of the pyramid, such as with a traditional MLM or network marketing company, while we like to laugh at MLMs and network marketing companies, you would have some experience of excellent products. I have had experience of excellent products from MLM. MLM that uh, well like this cleaner from Mway which it just washed out blood stains which is really hard to get out but I just put it in the machine in a normal wash and all the blood stains came out. I thought I'd have to maybe go a few rounds to get the blood stains out and I would forever have a little bit of blood in the fabric. <clears throat> but no, just one wash and it was all gone. So, you've had experiences where you have used products from an MLM. Usually, they're more expensive than what you could buy off the shelf in a supermarket. But if the MLM is true and they say that they are taking money that would have been used on traditional advertising and putting it into R&D, if they're really doing that, then those products are really worth your while. So people buy those products and they are paying their money into the pyramid and then the profit is distributed to people in the pyramid. That is a legitimate business that will just grow and grow. So that's the difference between a pyramid and a pyramid scam. Which one are you in? <laughs>